Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's coffee time. It is supper time. It is Friday night. We are having something we don't have a lot. Uh, we're having barbecue chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Homemade barbecue chicken, too. Not the rotisserie. Mama's made, got this ready today. And uh, we're going to make some coleslaw. And I'm going to take those leftover mashed potatoes we had. And I'm going to whoop up some delicious homemade potato salad with leftover mashed potatoes. If you've never done that, it's a surefire way for a good meal. And it tastes great. Um, so let's get started. Okay? You're showing this. I want to show you, first of all, this wonderful marinator. This is the large one. Even though it's just me and Mama. I laid out too much chicken. Mama laid out a lot of chicken. But... You know, sometimes you just have a lot. This is the marinator, and you can see how nice it is. Look at that lid. Why on earth did Mama get that lid so dirty? I'll tell you why. Because she put her chicken in here, and she had it in the refrigerator. Every time she got something to drink or opened the refrigerator door, she took the marinator, and she flipped it, just like that. Set it back in the refrigerator. Leave it an hour, however long, and then she's flipped it again. And we flipped it all day, she has. And that's the beauty of the marinator. And the top and the bottom both have the things on them. And I'm going to open it up here and I'm going to show you. That. That's all you do. All day. And if you don't have a chance to do it all day, it's still marinating. But it it's so... I just love the way it is. Plus, like Mama said the other night, you can use this for a lot of things. Let's tilt you down. I'm going to... I'm going to pull you all up. And then I'm going to tilt you down. How's that sound? Does that a better angle? If you can't see, swap those comments to the right. And that'll get rid of them. Watch your shirt. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I know. That's what I was just thinking. I probably need an apron. You want an apron? Instead of I'll, I'll get one in a second. After I do this messy part. Yeah. Alright, so there it is, folks. And I got the spatula so I can get all this goodie off the top of this lid. We're through flipping. We have flipped all day. Mama has. We're all done now. I'll do now. And we're through flipping. We're through with that mess. Which it wasn't a mess. That's the beauty of it. Uh, but we're through with the flipping mess. We're going to start to the cooking mess. So here it is. This is the deliciousness. Now Mama couldn't show you this live this morning early when she was doing it. But look here at the inside. Them little knots. See those? That keeps that chicken above so it'll stay underneath it. Now, it's a mess on the inside here, but there's not one drop on the outside because this little lip and that little thing there is made. This is what it's made for. Now, Father's Day is coming up. This would be a wonderful Father's Day gift. And it comes with a whole set. I'll show you the rest of the set in just a second. But I just want to show you how interesting it is and how it what a wonderful job it does. Now look at that chicken. That's been marinating all day long. And she put in here brown sugar, our favorite barbecue sauce or any barbecue sauce you want to use, and she sprinkled lemon pepper on it. And that's she put uh, in, oh the apple cider. And a little how much apple cider vinegar? About a fourth of a cup. A fourth of a cup of apple cider was, vinegar. Excuse me, just I was going to show how easy, how nasty that was. And all I've done is just rinse this it. This is just I'm water. I've not even washed it yet. That's just That's rinsed. just water, rinsed off with water. It's so easy. Um, so, I'm going to say two cups of barbecue sauce, a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of lemon pepper, and that's Teaspoon it. Teaspoon of mustard. Teaspoon of mustard. She added one for me. So, and this is the whole thighs and legs. Look how good. And two breasts. And two breasts. Ooh, we are we are eating good. You fixed plenty then, didn't you, Mama? Yeah. Well, I got out the breast. Let's point you over here. Mama's going to load up her platter. Oh, you're going to load it. I'm going to load it up. Uh, I got out the thighs, and I thought there was more in there than what they are. Was. That is a huge breast. Yeah. And uh, Do you want to can you cut it in two? I think we may have to, Mama. That thing right there will be all day cooking. That's what I was afraid of. Well, it's still a little frozen. I couldn't cut it or I wasn't going to try to cut it. 
Ooh, Mama, you got some big birds here. And uh, I sprayed those two wasn't being enough. And I don't like legs. You know that. Uh, Mama don't like legs. Personally, I love the dark meat really well. I love the, the white meat, but I also like that dark meat. I don't know, Mama. Those might be okay. Let me just cut them a little bit just to make sure. Cut them down the middle and that way they'll... Yeah, let's cut them just a touch here. Hand me this spatula back. You don't care, Mama. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and cut them in half. Um, that will help a lot. promise that I don't get some lemon full cut down there, Mama. Oh. Well, you can wash that pan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want butterfly them here. And this will really can, help. Will you uh, put some barbecue sauce? I sure will, Mama. And those sports cut. These are the biggest chicken breasts. These are like two breasts. We will have uh, barbecue chicken sandwiches. Oh, this would be good on the salad or anything. Uh, Sorry, folks, we didn't plan on doing this extra, but this is real life. That uh, honey baked biscuits? Yes. We'll bake a can of those. Tonight? Well, we'll eat something to eat with this, won't we? Yeah. Or we'll wait till tomorrow, whichever one. Now let's go ahead and bake them. And then we can just put our barbecue, the chicken, pull it off the bone tonight and put it in a container and then we'll have it ready. There seems to be a little bone right here. Yeah, it's uh, what we always grew up calling the pulley bone. This right here? The little bone that connects in our some way, I don't know. This one piece of chicken Would have been could feed your family. Where on earth did you get this? Well, I guess it the save a lot at one time. It's frozen. And all I had on my container was a boned in chicken breast. Oh, on this? Yeah. And so, for this so big, I never gave it much thought on count of the bone in. I uh -huh. always used to try to get to boneless, skinless boneless. Right. Well, but this I, does have a bone. This breast does have a Bone. Big bones in it. So. All right, look at there, folks. Now I have, I have butterfly that out. Cause, mercy, that's like a turkey. Well, this will take a while to. We'll leave those like they are. Oh yeah. That was like a turkey. Best meant for you to cut it, cause that will make this flavor so much more when you put that mm -hmm. sauce on there. I'm pulling these apart. Sorry, I didn't have it done. Well, if I had known, I could have done it, but I No, didn't. it was froze, and I didn't get it out. All right, folks, that's it. If I'd have waited, it would have thawed completely. Now, I'm going to pour this right over top of this. This is all that marinade she made. Now, the marin Mama, tell them again about the marinade. It was the, what was it, Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Okay. About a teaspoon of mustard and about a fourth of the, what did I say, apple cider vinegar? Yeah. And uh, about a fourth a cup of brown sugar. And about two cups of barbecue. Now, was that all I said before? I'm taking lemon pepper. Oh, we really, out lemon pepper. Get all that goody out of there. Goody, goody, goody. These little knots on the bottom holds that meat of any kind up and then lets the marinade flow under it. And that's the whole point of it. But as Mama showed you, it's so easy to clean. Okay. I've got to get these little legs. I've got to raise my lemon bullet, huh? Yeah. My sauce is already trying to escape. Mm hmm. 
Okay. Okay, Mama. You're ready to you get that? That's heavy. Oh, I've lifted all day. <laughs> <laughs> you flipped it all day. That's a workout in it, Mama. Sorry, it took a minute for that. We really weren't prepared for those big old thick juicy chicken breasts. Like I said, if I'd have waited this time, it would have had a completely chillax cut it easy. We wouldn't have had the marinade on it. <laughs> so that's the large one. This is the small one. This would be perfect for two big well, I don't know, maybe one of that's those chicken the one breasts. I had out to marinate in. I couldn't have got but one. This <laughs> will be good for any kind of meat, or you can even store your meat in it. Uh in the refrigerator because it seals tight and it's this this lip here is up here and this one goes down and then all you do just like I showed you while it goes once you put that on there is every time you you flip it back and forth and it keeps that marinated all over and it's wonderful so this comes with it the large one this one and then you get this wonderful bow set right now that's not where you can get these bows these bows were fifty dollars uh, alone and they're sold out just by themselves so this comes with a mixer Plus, you can drain in this. You see that little drain place right there? Uh, and you can put your beaters down in here and they don't splatter. So, that's handy. And then these, you get three of these. This one is, they got measurements on the inside. I showed y'all those tonight. They got measured. This one here is a... Get my eyes adjusted. This one here is a, a 132 ounces. 192 ounces. Get my eyes so I can get them in the light. This is 112 ounces. 192 ounces. 112 ounces. And this one is 500 or 320 ounces. That's a big boat, but they all have the straight sides for mixing. See, if you see a straight sided bow, the purpose of that is so you can mix in it well. So you get all these, which was a $50 value. You get both of these marinators. You get this shaker mixer. You can put your all your, you know, sometimes we'll use Italian dressing, lemon, and lemon pepper. And we'll put it in here, shake it up, and then you pour it over your chicken. Or you can marinate it in that either way. You get this little juicer. You can put, if you have to marinate for lemon or anything, you can marinate in this. It'll seal with this seal. Or you can juice on it. You can separate an egg with it. Or you can grate cheese with it, with a grater. Also, you can use this hole in this top lid of this top bow, the small bow, and do the same thing on each one of them. So this is a nice gift, and it have lids or seals for each one of them. All this is seventy-nine dollars. Now, the if it's not on sale, when it's not on sale, it's one hundred seventy-five dollars. So it's almost a hundred dollars off, just because it's birthday month. That's great. And I think too, they was thinking of the fathers ahead of time and saying. A lot of dads in the summer spend every weekend at the grill. They need some stuff to work with too. But you can use those for mixing cakes. You can use them for all kinds of things. Uh, the large, that's about the largest one they offer is on sale right now too for a week. So there's all kinds of good stuff in Tupperware this week and for this month because it's the birthday month. Got a little barbecue sauce on my chore board I've got the big mixer out or the big uh, chopper out tonight because I'm making coleslaw y'all know I love coleslaw we haven't had coleslaw near as often as we used to mama we've about given out we've about give it up oh. what was this week giving up no coleslaw what do you know about so here I go. I'm going to drop these carrots. These are just the baby carrots. And I'm just going to drop them whole. Right in here. That's one thing I like about it. Let's prep. I'm not making a big old bunch. So I'm just going to use just enough. I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on there. 
and I'll give it I apologize for the noise Someone asked me if you could use this with arthritis. Is it hard to pull? It's absolutely not hard to pull. You just want to make sure you don't overload it. It'll jam if you overload it, but that and everything. So, these are perfect for coleslaw. Perfect. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them in my bowl. Did it? No, I thought we laid that special over here. I don't want to get it on everything else. Then I'm going to put my... raw chicken sauce. I didn't get a hold of no raw chicken. No, I mean the sauce. I was cleaning it up. Oh, I'll put the spatula. The spatula. Now, they ain't been done over here. I put that fork right there, but I, it's fine. There was no raw chicken where it was at. Okay, so this is the cabbage. I'm not going to overload it like I told you all not to, so... Before we got the chopper, I just didn't like to do the coleslaw. I would do the dressing. Mama would spend 30 minutes grating carrots and grating cabbage. And Mama likes it fine. And uh, it was a mess, wasn't it, Mama? Just dump those in that green bow right there. Yeah, and I'll make that in just a second for you. And, um, but now it's such an easy task to do. And you get perfect ground cabbage every time. Or, or the light was changing. Or carrots or whatever you want to use. You can have this made and have everything about it washed in the time it used to take me to grade cabbage. And I hated it. I absolutely despise having to grade. I still don't like to grade things. Y'all know I still, of all the things in the kitchen, grading is my least favorite. Grading cheese, grading cabbage, carrots. I don't like to grade. Now the only reason I'm shaking is just to get the top and the bottom and the bottom and the top. Now, I, you don't have to pull as many times as I do. Oh, because you love to play with it. <laughs> I said that's a toy for Johnny. But I love it finely grated. I'm going to show y'all this. Look how fine. Isn't that wonderful? I got one right here. Beat you, mama. Because I don't want to waste any of this goodness. Yeah, he, I fix cabbage for him often. Sometimes I didn't get over there in time for him. He would. <laughs> Look at here. Is that all the. You're That's do. all the chopping I'm going to do. Unless you want me to do them green onions. Is that what those are laid there for? I don't know if you wanted them in the coleslaw. Do you want them in the coleslaw? No. No, me either. That is the coleslaw. And look, that's just mounds of perfectly. Um, Mama says, don't you waste none of that. That's good. It was just a walk. Barbecue chicken and coleslaw. Potato salad. It's Friday night. Yeah, this would be a good lunch. It's Friday night and I'm singing about it. Oh. Singing, it's Friday night. What'd you have, Mom? I forgot about the meatloaf. We could have done meatloaf sandwiches tonight, Mom. I'm going to put, that's this will be a half a teaspoon. A whole teaspoon. I'm going to put one and a half teaspoons of sugar, white granulated sugar right now. 
Uh, I forgot about that meatloaf. We could have had cold meatloaf sandwiches. One of my favorite things. But Mama said this morning, I'm putting that chicken in to marinate. I'm having meat some barbecue chicken. I feel a chore list coming on, folks. This is just, um, color, what is that word? C-O-L-A-V-I-T-A. Colavita red wine vinegar. And I'm putting about three good tablespoons. Three good tablespoons. You said I do that first, but it, you don't have to do it first. Usually I put it in the bowl, but I already had this bowl. And really, to be honest with you, I just didn't want to dirty another bowl. And then, too, I just want to show you sometimes there's different ways to do different stuff. Now, I could give you measurements exactly on this. I could say use half a cup of mayonnaise, half, but it depends on how much slaw you have. It depends on how much sugar you want. You may not want any sugar. If you don't want it, leave it out. Um, it depends on a lot of things. So what I like to do sometimes is just give you the basics and then do it to taste. You know, a lot of recipes will say salt, pepper to taste. Well, that's kind of where this kind of stuff is because depending on the age of your cabbage, you may have a sweeter cabbage or you, this is just table salt, or you may have a tartar cabbage, something a little bit more. This is just table black pepper, McCormick black pepper from the table. And uh, you may need a little more or less of whatever. Now this is working up drier than I normally like it, but it's all coated. So now I'm going to add a little bit more mayonnaise. So all total I've used about a cup of mayonnaise in this big bowl. And I use three tablespoons of red wine vinegar and a teaspoon and a half of sugar. But now if you go and put that in your next batch, it may not be enough. If you want a little bit more red vinegary, put a little bit more red wine vinegar in it. Or you could use white distilled vinegar. If you want to be drier, put a little less mayonnaise. If you want it to be wetter, put a little more mayonnaise. See, it's all... This is just the rules. These are not the total instructions. Yeah, this is just the rules. And there it is, folks. That is coleslaw. And you may make yours different. That would be good. If you, know, if you like it already another way, that's fine. But this is a quick, simple little version. And we like it. We like it. Now, these are leftover mashed potatoes. And that's all there is. Now look, you would think I wouldn't fool with them. I'm gonna make something good out of them. I'm gonna make something good out of them. Mama's cleaning. Mama, you've cleaned all day, ain't you? I can tell. I came in. I smelled goodness. Mama likes. We we use pine saw. We use other things, but. When I smell pounds on I just didn't want all that cabbage in my potato salad. I know, Ma, <laughs> I know Mama has been working. Though this is just a little wad of mashed potatoes left over from, mash, from meatloaf last night. If we eat that meatloaf, it'll be on the sandwiches. It won't be um, good mashed potatoes. So we won't need these. Do you think you'll use green onions in your potato salad? I can. Just... Would you want me to? Well, no. I They're in season, Mama. We ought to put them in everything. We like, now Mama's not, Mama don't not like onions, they don't like her. Some of y'all out there can sympathize with her because they probably don't like you either. Um, so, sometimes it's the other way around. Mama likes the onions, so we do put them in a lot of things, especially the green ones when we have them fresh in the garden because they are so good. So I just done one slice of Vidalia onion. Can y'all see? And I cut it in half and stacked it on top of each other. I think y'all can see. Swap those comments. It's perfectly fine on my end. 
don't know what's going on. The chopper is Tupperware. Yes, the door, the chopper is Tupperware. I figure y'all probably knew that. Some of y'all may be new and you may not know. Mama's the Tupperware um, manager and she loves her Tupperware family. She loves getting together with meetings. It's sort of been a godsend through COVID because Mama, now you all, y'all would have been hard pressed to caught Mama here um, before COVID because Mama literally, before COVID, she kept a calendar and I would just say to her, tell me what state you're going to be in or tell me where you're going to be going. What country, what country are you going to be in? Because Mama loves to travel and her little group loves to travel. And every Monday they would meet in Kentucky and they would play cards. Now not they gambled. It was gambling. I told her. Oh. <laughs> they would each bring a present once ever eight times. That was her turn to bring a present. And whoever won the phase 10 game got to claim that prize. And it was just a little $10, $15 thing. Liv always said we played a kids game because <laughs> we weren't smart enough to play a big hard adult game. <laughs> but that was on Monday. Mama would go play Bunko some other time. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. They would go on so day trips. Day trips shopping, day trips theaters. You know, she was on the go all the time. And I would say, Mama, are you going to be home any this week? No. I've got something to do every day. Oh, okay, Mom. She'd say, by the way, next whatever, I'm going to be going to Ireland. All right, Mama. I planned that a long time. It took her months, but anyway, that's what they would do. And Mama loved it. So when COVID came along, it was just it, shut down. No, really, no contact with the outside world. And uh, Maria, y'all know Maria, she said, do you think your Mama would like to sell Tupperware? You could do it, you know, on coffee time. I asked Mama, she said, you know what? I think I would like that. So we started, she started, and it's been a year this month. Maple, no, really. Maple. April. What's Maple? <laughs> it, was a, it was a year in Maple. It's right between May and April. <laughs> maple. Y'all know Maple, the month of Maple. And, uh, it's right between May and April. That's what it is. So Mama would... Uh, it was in April. April. And so... Uh, she connected up and they have Zoom meetings and they she really enjoys it and it's just been a godsend really and we thank you all for buying Tupperware from her and you all who sell it under her and the meetings they go to, they laugh, they talk uh, they have real energetic folks that just keep things lively and they meet quite often so it's a nice little retreat this is three boiled eggs chopped and oh, here's I didn't the, get the mustard. Do you don't want any mustard in yeah, this? Yeah, a little bit more. I don't put much. I don't know how the onions on the camera here. I think. So then I'm just going to put these right in here. Now this is just, in case you're just tuning in, this is just leftover mashed potatoes. I put one slice of Vidalia onion in here. I put three boiled eggs, roughly chopped. And that's all that's in there so far, folks. And I'll... I'm going to put some of these green onions just because we have them and because Mama grew them. And they have pretty color. They? And they're beautiful. And I'm just going to put one. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. So I'm going to cut this about three times. And then I'm going to turn it over and cut it three more. And then the rest of it is just slide the knife through it. But we do appreciate that. We appreciate you all going to our Etsy store. Um, the Etsy store came about because everybody wanted a coffee cup. John, do you have coffee cups? No, we don't. So, um, Donna, who helps with the page, uh, she knew this really great Christian family and they started doing 
the Etsy store for us, and they make these chore boards. It's got John and Mama on it. You can't see it because I've got it cluttered, but right here's our picture. And um, these coffee cups and the tumblers and the lemonade tumblers. I mean, we've got a whole line of products on the Etsy store, and we always post the link underneath here. So if you haven't been to the Etsy store, the aprons, the black ones, the red ones, and the white ones. So all those are just there for the... You know, I don't know if I'll fix those biscuits tonight or not, Johnny. Because I've got the oven tied up with the chicken. And I don't want to turn on that big oven 90-something degrees. No, we don't use a big oven. <laughs> we, uh... We might just eat without bread like we usually do. We don't eat a lot of bread, so that's fine. That'll be something to look forward to tomorrow is some honey butter biscuits. We use canned biscuits. You can buy them at your local store, I'm sure. We get them in our little salon. It's like between a biscuit and a roll. It's delicious. It's got honey and butter. Now, I'm not going to put all this in there because of the quantity of the potatoes. I don't have that many. So, I'll use this in an omelet or something. Mama don't even like omelets. And I said, Mama, I'm fixing us an omelet. And she said, Oh, I said, Oh, you'll like it. What'd you think, Mama? It was really good. So I'm going to put in here about a tablespoon and a half of sweet pickle relish. And this is Duke's. As y'all know, and I'm going to put a good tablespoon of it. Oh, what did I do? I messed up. What did you do? I somehow... Poured a gallon? No. It, I got it caught in the lid and it came around the ridge there. Look at there, Mama. You would... Oh. If I put that up like that... Oh. I got later on. Who's messed in this... Mayonnaise. Now, who done that? Why, anybody know better than to I do that? I would do it by elimination. I didn't, so there's one other person here. <laughs> Why, anybody would know better than to do that. And put it up like that. And put it up like that. <laughs> now, mustard is not my favorite thing for potato salad. But I'm going to put about a dime-sized circle right there on the top. See that? That's all the mustard I'm interested in right now. And I'm going to put some salt. Mama, you got a, another rib of that celery in there. I surely do. I'll go get you and that's just a little black pepper to taste. And I'm going to do one rib of celery. You could use celery salt if you want to. Or you could omit the celery as we do sometimes. Let's see what you all are saying. It says Duke's is the best. We use it a lot. Um, if I go buy mayonnaise at the big store, and there's a variety, and Duke's is one of them, I'll pick up Duke's. But I do like Kraft, um, and I do even like uh, JFG mayonnaise. That's you all may not know about that. It's more of a local mayonnaise, maybe I don't know. Um, it's from Knoxville, Tennessee. JFG is. Um, but I'll use other kinds. But Duke's is definitely on the top three of my list. Uh, if I can get a hold of and I'll use Hellman's. I'm, I'm kind of bad like I am coffee. If it's not horrible, I'll use Now, some mayonnaises I don't like. If you ain't got Dukes, don't even bother cooking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little. Now, Deborah, you are a Dukes fan. That's a little. Right? Somebody sent us some blue plate and it was good. It was really good. If we had it locally, I would go with Blue Plate. But if we're somewhere that I can get to Duke's and it's on the you shelf, then most of the time I'll grab it. This one? Yeah. Most of the time I will grab it and go with it. But now we always get, the only salad dressing we use is JFG. And I can order it online or I can get it at one or two stores. It's a local kind of thing. Um, not all stores have it. And this is just a rib of celery. It's going to just add a little extra crunch in here. 
Now, I'm going to tell y'all this, and some of y'all are going to say, no way. He is crazy. I mean, some extra people that don't normally say that. <laughs> but this leftover potato salad out of mashed potatoes, and I think Mama will vouch for me, is just as good as making it fresh. It's just as good as boiling those potatoes and making it. Yeah, through all the work. And especially if you've got potatoes left and you've had potato cakes and everything and don't want to do it again, it's a good way to use them up so they don't go to waste. And it doesn't take the time. You don't think, well, I just, you've seen how little I started with, but you're going to see here in a minute how much it makes. It doesn't take a ton. You don't have to have a whole bowl full or the yield that you hope to get out of it at the end because the time you had all these little goodies in there, you're going to have a bowl full. We'll have probably enough to throw away, as they say. Uh, we we'll probably won't get every bit of it eaten. We can eat it with our sandwiches if we eat. Mama's got in her mind tomorrow. I'm going to tell you, Sherry told me this morning. She didn't mention it a while ago. But Sherry told me this morning. She said, we'll make barbecue chicken, potato salad, and make a little coleslaw. And then tomorrow, we'll pull all that off the bone. And we'll pull it apart, and I'll make some honey biscuits, and we'll have them little sliders Very with potato good. salad for lunch. That's what, Mama, that sounds like you've got it all planned out. So, them little sliders will be good. Watch you getting your board in the mayonnaise. Lift a little bit. If we have them tomorrow, if that's what we actually go with, I will definitely show y'all. We probably won't cook. That's Mama, I didn't get no mayonnaise. Look at you that. Bet. Mama's telling me I'm in mayonnaise. I wasn't in no mayonnaise. Mama. Just touching it. Y'all, you through cutting now? I'm through cutting now. Through? Wasn't it Minnie Pearl used That's to say right. on the Hee Haw show? We're through singing now. We're through, now. We're through singing now. Do y'all remember Hee Haw? Let's point back down here. So here's all the ingredients in there. This is just mashed potatoes we had left over. Don't even know how many. I'm going to say maybe two cups maybe two cups and I put one slice of onion of a day uh, just one slice and it it uh, cut pretty fine I put one green onion and it just one stalk leaves or greens and all put one stalk of celery one rib. I always get that wrong. One rib of celery, three boiled eggs, and a tablespoon and a half of pickle relish, salt and pepper to taste, and a dime-sized squirt of mustard, and probably a half a cup of, not a half a cup, what I put, two tablespoons of mayonnaise. I don't know if you dumped it out of the jar. So yeah, I probably about two tablespoons. Just, just make it till it's good and not stiff actually I got about the right amount in this and this is some delicious homemade potato salad and leftover mashed potato I do not know what is going on with our lighting everything I've shown y'all has looked like it's from outer space <laughs> <laughs> that is the potato salad now I'm not going to taste it right now mama do you want to taste this Tell me what you think. It could need some more black pepper or salt. Well, now the potatoes already had salt. Yeah. That's the reason I didn't because the potatoes were already made, so you don't want to start salting and peppering like you're starting fresh. You don't want to taste, or you're not going to taste. I'm gonna let you tell me if it's anything you would eat. <laughs> don't run off, Mama. I taste everything good. It just needs to sit while the chicken's finished. Does it need any more anything? No. Okay, Mom. No pepper or salt. I believe it tastes all right. I got two dishes made. Mama's still piddling around with that chicken. Oh, my chicken. I'm doing my chicken. It's just doing itself. I know, Mama. I just said hey, too much. Hey, look at that countertop. You've cleaned, Mama. Ain't nothing on there but your two bowls. That's right, Mama. 
All right, folks, we got a while with that chicken. In fact, I hate to start something and not go all the way to the finish with it, but I don't know. If we'll get to that chicken, we'll temp it and see. But y'all be through fooling with us by the time we get to that chicken. Something's in my pocket. Oh, these are campaign buttons. Y'all remember campaign buttons? Mama, he sent you one too. What is it? This is Tyler King. He is, uh, y'all probably, it's, this is local, but do y'all remember campaign buttons? These are, used to everybody had campaign buttons. And I used to have a little collection of redone ones that would say, what, Tipper Canoe and Tyler too, and different things, but uh, uh, I ran into him today. He was campaigning. If you'll tempt it, we might have an idea of how. I know it ain't near done, but... Oops. I just heard right. Mama, you, yeah. We'll, we'll temp it. Look how good it's looking. It, it's about done on my belly. <laughs> the temp, did you burn yourself? It didn't burn. It splattered? It splattered. It slipped off of my pot holder. Okay, Mama, here we go. I'm going to put this to the bone. No, you don't put it to the bone. They tell you not to. Well, all right. What temp are we looking for? You. At least 165. Oh, well, you're off. I like 185. But... You're off, Mama. Well, that's what I said. How you're at 130. Well, we're better than I thought we was. Hundred and thirty is what we're looking at on all this chicken. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's a piece. It's rolling up, Mama. It's coming up to 150. Well, we're going to put it back in here and bake it a while. It, yeah. it got hotter than I thought it was going to. Yeah, let's put I'm it back. Shocked. I'm well pleased with it being there. Watch your, your temperature here so I Just can... Just lay it there. i got to get this back in here. Let it... Watch your stuff on that corner there. I'm trying to. We don't... All right, so we're back. The potato salad looks good. It is good. It's a wonderful way. You know, how many leftover mashed potatoes do y'all throw away? And I'm telling you, they're too expensive to throw away. If you're buying potatoes, if you're buying anything, folks, it's too expensive. Uh, if you can reuse it, reinvent it, change it, rearrange it, you can. I showed you all once before. Mama makes potato cakes out of these. Puts a little flour, eggs, and milk, a little bit of cream, a little bit of evaporated milk, and stirs it up and makes a, a potato cake. And I make potato bites out of them with onion and put cheese. cheese and all that stuff in there. Delicious. Uh, you can also do the same thing I do and fry them with potato bites. You can also take the potato, put your cream in there, your cheese, your onions, and you can scoop it up with an ice cream scoop, one of the little ones, the cookie scoops. Roll it in panko breadcrumbs, put it on a sheet pan, and bake it for a little while until those breadcrumbs get brown and they get good inside. That cheese comes out of them, and they're oh, they're good that way too. I'll show you how to make them that way one night. But tonight, we just went with old-fashioned potato salad, and uh, it's it was quick and simple and easy. Potatoes are already there. Why waste them? Why waste them? Um, so that chicken it says it has mama you better change your time you're running out of time over there no. how much you haven't start with I had 30 minutes Was is it cooked 30 minutes it cooked 30 minutes to get up to that 100 so that's the reason I said I was shocked I really didn't realize it had been 30 minutes. I thought it had been about 15. Time flies when you're having fun. You've, you've been talking. <laughs> Did I hurt you feelings? Embarrassment from my friends, Mom. She did. Mashed potato salad is good. It is. It really is. Uh, grilled cheese sandwich. Is that what you're having tonight, uh, Janice? I love a good grilled cheese. You know, it's never the wrong season for me to have grilled cheese and tomato soup. Uh, I like to make potato patties, put uh, leftover mashed potatoes, 
We had that's what we've had too, Sharon, for years and years. Mama, that's if we had leftover mashed potatoes, it meant pinto beans would probably be coming the next day, and we would have potato cakes with it. Or uh, sometimes she'd make them with pork chops or something like that. But usually, leftover mashed potatoes meant potato cakes. Uh, I don't like leftover mashed potatoes. It reheated. Really, I don't, unless you read them in, a, in something else. Like as in the uh, potato bites or the the little potato fried. Either one of them is right, good. Right, well, Mama, come over here and sit down while and talk to the folks. You ain't got nothing to do. That chick, I'm quick without you. You think it will? Yeah. So, Mama, what have you done today? Have you been out in the garden? No, I didn't. Well, I went down to the garden and moved, but now I the didn't truth do comes anything. Out. Now the truth comes out. What did you do down there, Mama? I just went, walked down there and looked. And what did you see? The garden. <laughs> beans and corn. Uh, not corn. How beans. big are the beans? Well, one row is like this. They can't see, Mama. Come up. Well, like this. Ooh. And one row is like this. <laughs> you don't want to plant them all at one time, folks. <laughs> Do you know what happens when you plant your crops all at one time? You have to harvest them all at one time. <laughs> Gotta work really hard. So Mama plants hers a week apart, maybe 14 days apart, maybe even wait a week or two and then plant some more. And that way they come in so she can work them. So uh, she'll have a roll of beans come in and in the next week she'll have another row so she don't have to pick the whole field. So she staggers I them out. I used to plant bigger gardens and and I'd have a couple of big rows of beans, and then a week or two later, a couple of more, but that's when I would can a lot of green beans. Do, is that on convection? Yes. I think I, I had it other time on convection. The other time. <laughs> but if you'll stagger your crops out, if you're growing corn, yes. corn is one of those by the minute kind of things, really. So if you've got corn, hit the bottom button. Convection? Yeah, but I don't see two lines. Look right over there. On that side. Okay. Corn is one of those things about the minute. You can your corn will come ready in one day. You'll check it one evening and it ain't ready. The next day it's ready, ain't it, Mama? Yeah. Hickory cane corn. Daddy always liked hickory cane. And, buddy, it's like on a time schedule, sure enough. I said, if you don't get it right when it's mm -hmm. ready, you can't. So, get if it. each stalk has a couple of ears at least, you'll know how many dozen ears you're going to have to work up. So, Mama will plant hers and she'll plant it, stagger it out to where. She has corn for a good while, but she don't have to kill herself working it up. And I like to have it coming in. As soon as it comes in, I like to have it fresh coming in until it's til, frost or stuff. Until the frost comes. comes. Mama, did you get, Mama, did you get card with money for your cookbook in it? Just wondering. I got two different. This is Marcy Hughes. I don't know the last the Marsh. name, but I received two cards already with money in them, and I've mailed them, but the mail I got last, I've not got it mailed. Potato candy. Someone asked us about that the other day. My daddy used to make potato candy. We'll have to look that up. I'd like to try it. If anybody's got a potato candy recipe, my husband fell and broke his... Oh, my heart. He's 71 and he just broke. He broke Pamela, how's he doing? He's 71, he broke his hip. Oh my goodness. Oh, well we'll be saying Surprise prayers for him. him. Yes. We had omelets. Michelle, you had omelets tonight. Are they half runner beans? No. No, uh, Dorothea, they are peanut little, beans. Little, little red peanut beans. Little hard peanut beans. They're hard to work. They're heirloom bean. And they're hard to deal with because there's, you know, there's not been you changed. Can, you can break a cannon up of the other beans 
and it'll take you two times or, or two times and a half as long to work up peanut beans as it does white half runners or Donald, blue lakes or any of that. Donald wants to know if you plant silver corn, silver coin. Ah, uh, yeah, I used silver. to plant it. I don't plant corn now because our crows is beneficial. Plentiful, I meant to say. <laughs> um, they come right in the y yard, and now they used Raina, to. Raina, we sell our church cookbook. It's not one we wrote. We've got about six or eight recipes in it, Mom and I do. But it's a church cookbook. It's a collaboration of all the ladies and gentlemen of the church. We have several men cooks. If you like a church cookbook, here's the address. And you may this not be backwards. I didn't flip tonight. Yep. Um... I probably could try to flip to show y'all this, but it's on both sides of this paper. And it is John Davis, P.O. Box 918, Jellicoe, Tennessee, 37762. And that's our all everything address. It's not just church cookbooks. Someone asked for our coffee time address, and that's I told it. them, they said, oh, well, that's the cookbook. Yeah, it's the same one. So here's the church cookbook. I haven't showed you in a while. Uh, and it, that's the front. That's not our church. There's just a, a beautiful Same. artist rendering. And um, it's full of recipes. Someone asked me the exact number. I don't really know. But it's full. And here's the appetizers and beverages. Uh, punches, stuff for parties. Here is beef balls, cheese balls, cheese locks. See how many recipes is on one page? All those are recipes. And um, it goes right on over. And in behind each little section... Here is helpful hints, and it tells you all the helpful hints for whatever section you're in. This is soups and salads, so this will take. And uh, in the back of the book is all kinds of information about napkin folding. Um, there's four different patterns right there uh, for your holiday tables or every night if you want to. I went to a napkin folding <sighs> place and there's so many there one years back and stuff and I said I could take that book there and look at it on my own time and fold and unfold it and do a better job than I did at the napkin folding place. And here's how to make breads and how to do desserts. Baking desserts. Here's pantry basics. What do you need in your pantry? Right there it is. So there's all kinds of little helpful stuff in here. And here's cookies and candies. Every one of these is a recipe. So every time you see this, it's all recipes on those pages. And they're just full. Um, here is a list of the recipes. I guess I could count these sometime. So here's a list of those. It's all recipes. And then over here. I used to know when we was making I think we went the limit, whatever you could put in one book, and there's a list of recipes. So there's a bunch. And um, some of y'all have gotten it. Tell them what it's like. Tell them if you like it. Tell them if they should order it. I think they should. It's a great little recipe book. And here like it's church cookbooks, you definitely Yeah, if you like church cookbooks, it's a keeper. Um, we've got one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve recipes. We've got that many recipes. Mama and I have got in here. Yep, twelve recipes. Okay. So, if you're interested in it, it's seventeen dollars in the continental United States for shipping. Uh, outside of the United States, we have to check at the post office, and we get back to you and tell you it has been as high as twenty-five dollars for shipping on something. One place was thirty-four. Mama says it's been 30. 34, 30. But uh, our next cook along, and we'll be giving away some cookbooks. We like to take the stars, and people will see this little blurb down here. This coffee time with John and Mama. And it says something about during the broadcast, you can support my page. That is something Facebook puts on there. We don't put that on there. And uh, but if you look on any page that's got any kind of uh, ads or any of that in it, it that's what it is Facebook once you get so many views so many likes so many follows then they start asking you to do ads stars and all that so we complied we didn't for many months 
because if you don't, that helps them to push your page out. If you don't, then your page don't get pushed out. And, you know, that's the whole point is to try to get more people involved. So um, that's what that's for. So we like to take our star money. We get a penny a star, I believe, is what they said. And we take that money and buy cookbooks from the church. And uh, then we give them away to you all during cook-alongs. So if it's a cook-along, we set an alarm on the clock on the phone. And every time it goes off, whoever comments, whoever's right there, top one, I call your name. I never know who it is, never know what it, who, who it is going to be. And that's just a good way of keeping it random. I could spin it or whatever they do. Some people and say, point... I just do it that way. Set an alarm. Every time the alarm goes off, somebody gets a cookbook. I set five or six alarms, and however long we're on here, it just keeps alarming. And um, that is what we do. So, um, you going to thank you, Jen? Well, I'm going to let you check with you. Yes, ma'am. How much longer do you think it will have to be? I wish that I were um, So, that's what we do. So, our next cook along. And what we like to do on a cook-along, and what makes it a cook-along, is we give you all the ingredient list, and then we tell you the date and the hour, and it's usually at 6 o'clock on Saturday. It surely looks different than it did. It looks that. better. Uh, it, usually around 6 o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday, or sometimes we have that on Friday night, uh, depending on what we're making. And then we all cook it together, and you all can taste it, look at it. And then we give away the cookbooks, and that's what we like to do. I've had several questions about stars and ads, but it's just a part of Facebook. And I don't know what who y'all follow, but I think everyone I follow on Facebook, all the influencers I follow on Facebook, every one of them has them. Okay, here's the chicken. Let's look it over, folks. It's looking better. It's almost there. If it ain't, it's almost. Let's go with this thigh first. It's 180, Mama. Oh, that's old school. 180, 185. Yep. It's 184, 5. Oh, well, that's in good shape. 186. 186. 7. These breasts should be done because. Hundred ninety one, ninety three, ninety four. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I believe we can eat. Ninety five on this one. You want to tea to drink? I could. I've got coffee, but if you if you're gonna get tea, you can bring me a little glass. Cause it's decaf. It's hundred ninety six, Mama. This is two hundred. Two hundred one. I don't think this is decaf. It's not decaf? Uh-uh. Well, I got de I've got caffeine coffee. I'll be fine. You want uh, water instead of that? No, I got, I've got coffee. Oh, okay. I've got coffee. All right, folks, we're calling this chicken done. Here you go. You all made it with us. I didn't know if we would all get to be here when it was done. But you were. We guessed that, Mama. Huh. We guessed that, but you wouldn't want much. I don't want that turkey breast thing. Though. You wouldn't want much protein, anyway. Right? No, I eat protein. But you would eat sugar quicker, wouldn't you? Oh, well, yes. I'm not going to say I wouldn't. I hope that sauce I mixed up tastes as good as it smelled. Well, that's one thing about it. You can't really taste it once you put on that chicken to see what you have. I could have asked you to taste of it. Uh, no, I wouldn't have, Mom. <laughs> see how she treats me? <laughs> what did you say you was the presidential taster? I said, I feel like I'm the 
taster. The chicken's done perfectly. I feel like I am the taster for Mama because she'll say, taste it. See what you think. I'm going to have this right here. I'm going to have this little thigh. I figured you'd have that thigh. You don't need a knife, do you? I've got a knife. You use that knife. You want to get a spoon and dip your sauce over that? Dip that sauce, Mama. It's a good thing it's Friday night. Because here it is at 8.30 and that's eight. Oh my goodness. I don't know. This day has been unreal. I've been uh, messed up all day on the time and where it's got to. I blame that lunar eclipse we had last week. Get you want some cold water? Yeah, I'll take some in a glass. I've got coffee. But cold water, I don't pass that up. I love water. It's a good thing it's Friday night because we're eating late. I don't know what's going on, folks. We used to eat around 6, but I do know I work a lot later than I did. I work till late today. Mama's trying to say it's my fault. <laughs> I may have to start letting Mama eat earlier. You reckon? Well, I don't eat much till late. I sort of say half the time you're not ready to eat anyway. Because I have to. Oh, it's so cold. I'm not going to put no ice in here. No, we don't need ice. This is a Tupperware pitcher. We showed it to you months ago. And it, we keep this in the refrigerator all the time. Uh, we've got refrigerator water like everybody else in the door, but it just tastes cold, and it's a good size. It's a wonderful little oh, it is cold. pitcher. Mama, let's bless it and eat and let these folks go. They're tired of filling with us. I reckon they are. We've kept them on here to... It's past bedtime, let alone past evening. <laughs> I'm not going to have any time to sit on the porch. <laughs> Yeah, you can sit out. I'll sit out there in the dark. I don't yeah. care. The lights will be on out there. You, you won't be afraid. I won't be afraid. I'm not afraid, Mama. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. put your sauce on there yet. I will. Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. We just want to ask you to bless it for the nourishment of our body. Watch over us, dear Lord. Watch over our country, dear Lord. Watch over our, our world. And be with each and every one. And all the prayer requests. Both, both spoken and unspoken, dear Lord. Be with the hurt, be with the need, and be with the healing, dear Lord. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, folks, we're going to give it a try. Let me see what y'all are up to. Thank y'all for those stars. Y'all are so sweet. Well, what does this sauce taste like, Mama? Ooh, I don't know, and I just drowned in my chicken. <laughs> Keep on drowning. It's good. I uh, hear you want to drown. Yours? No, I don't want to. Yours is coated. Good. Mine's coated. That's what I like about the thighs. In the... I haven't tasted of anything. I'm going to start with this coleslaw. Mmm. I guessed at that sauce and stuff. Coleslaw's good. It might need to be just a little bit sweeter. But, as I told you, that is to taste. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to try this potato salad. You already passed the potato salad, so you said it was good. Mm -hmm. That sauce is good for me, though. And that potato salad is just like it, as if I had made it from fresh potatoes to start with. I thought I had way too much lemon pepper in it, but... In the chicken? In the sauce, but it don't taste... Well, let's try this chicken. I'm probably using the wrong knife, because this is just a <laughs> Tupperware knife. Let's try this together. Now, no longer than that potato salad has said from the time I tasted it mm -hmm. now. It was, it's really good. It's got the flavor. Look at that, that chicken. Perfectly coated. This is the thigh. Look at that dark meat. Perfectly done. Mmm. 
tastes just like downtown. If we had a server here, we would think was at a restaurant. You think so? And somebody to clean the dishes up. I've got about all of that done anyway. Yeah, you cleaned as you've gone. So all we have is this. I'll wash these up, Mama. You wash the beginning and I'll wash the ending. I've got them all washed except what's on the table. Uh-huh, just that much. Because those two Tupperware bowls, I will, that, that gets a lid. And that chicken will be put in a Tupperware bowl and stuck in the refrigerator. And that lemon will be thrown away. Well, it has to wash because it kind of... Oh, I'll definitely wash it. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> This meal reminds me of summertime. 90 degrees here today. What can you see? Right um, here? it's 81 right now at 8:38. Mm. Well, folks, this is what we've done, and this is all we're going to do. And we're going to eat, and then probably go out, sit on the porch, and let Maggie go lay in the yard. Mikey just likes to go up there and let everybody in the neighborhood know that she's still in charge, in case they was wondering. And uh, ready to do her thing, ain't she, Mama? Mm-hmm. She's not come in here yet. There's not been enough clinking, clanking of the plates. She's laying over under the piano stool watching us. She's raised up. <laughs> That's Maggie's dinner bell. Come and get it. <laughs> Mommy, you got anything else? No, I'm just gonna... Does anybody have a Hey Mama joke, John? It is uh, nice to eat in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sandy, if you were here or if I could reach you a piece of chicken, I sure would. And I guarantee you, if you were here, you would be eating. Because Mama would say, here, get some of this. Don't let this go to work. Don't let this get in here and eat. Wouldn't you, Mama? Mm -hmm. Even if you come here and you say, Oh, we just got up from the table. We would love to have it. We're not hungry. Mama At would, least eat the dessert. <laughs> Mama would say, Okay. And then in three minutes, she'd say, Here, surely you can hold a little piece of this chicken. Try it anyway. When you was growing up, I always made you do what? Take a bite. <laughs> I didn't have to eat it, but I had to take a bite. No matter what I cooked, he had to take one bite. If he didn't like it, or wouldn't eat it, then he was allowed to go spit it out in the waste can. I didn't have to taste it every time she made it, just that one time. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mama, is anybody got a hey mama? Sounds good. Looks delicious. It is, Linda. It's very good. So happy to see his son. Care if it's my oh, I take care of Mama. Mama takes care of me too, Debbie. We uh, we take care of each other. A lot of times, people will say, "John, you make Mama do all the fetching and getting in it." Mama That's does what, what Mama do. wants to do. That's what I do. Mama, do I ever make you do anything you don't want to do? No, I buck up. <laughs> if I if I do it, I've done stuff on camera before. And when we stop, why didn't you just let me do that? I was right there. Why don't you, don't you, Mama? Yeah. I say I can get it done twice as fast. I feel like I can. <laughs> That's what she says. Or she'll say, now don't get over in my cabinets and get to messing around. I've got stuff where I know it is and I can reach it. You put it where I can't reach it. How many times have I heard that? Every day, just about it. If he straightens up the cabinets or cleans them or does anything. Or wash dishes. Wash dishes. I can't reach nothing. I say, you're 6'2". I'm short. Short armed. I cannot reach it. Most of the time when I wash dishes, and it's not me being lazy, some of y'all will say that. I wash them, rinse them, put them in the drainer, 
lay them on the cabinet, and then I said, Mama, let me put up. these up. Or you, No, let me do them. I'm going to put them where I want them. Okay, Mama. Ain't that the truth? Mm -hmm. So if he takes the notion to do it, and he puts stuff up high and don't want, don't want me to climb. I don't. So, I say, you'll have to get this bow. You'll have to get that bow. You'll have to get this down for me. And he's doing spices the same way. <laughs> There's only so much room on that one bottom shelf that she can reach. So, I usually keep what I use often, real often, on the bottom shelf. Mm-hmm. The rest of it he has to get. <laughs> and there Which are some spices. Right. There are some spices that Mama never, ever uses. And those all go on the very tip top shelf. Mm -hmm. And if it's something she never touches, then that's the only thing on the top shelf. I don't care how high they are. I'm not going to use them. Don't care. <laughs> don't care where I put them. She's there's old Twinkle Toes coming through the kitchen. What are you doing, girly? She's just surveying. Right now she's looking at her food she's bowl. She's looking under my stool to see if I've dropped anything. And the first thing she does is look under Mama's stool. Then she looks at her food to see if we take a bite. I'm serious. She guards her food. And when she goes out, run in and run to her food bowl and just look at it. Make sure it's there. Make sure you didn't <laughs> eat it while she was outside. And then she goes about her merry way. Folks, my phone is telling me it's out of energy. It's Friday evening, I guess it is. It's wore out. So we're going to say goodbye and we're going to say have a blessed evening. Find you something good to eat if you haven't already. And Lord, it's time for a it's, midnight snack for most of you. But you know, all the old TV shows and everything, the stuff, they just go out to eat it like at 8 o'clock at night. Uh -huh. They eat, what do they call it, their dinner late. We always ate early. Well, they eat dinner, supper. Supper is usually 11 o'clock at night or something. But we're going to say y'all have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing. I don't know what we'll be into. Probably some of this chicken pulled off the bone. And, or meatloaf sandwiches. We'll if probably, it cools down, I'm going to take it off the bone tonight instead of putting it Oh, yeah, we don't never store it on the bone. Take it off. Even if we buy a roaster chicken at the store, a rotisserie, we take it off the bone before we put it in the refrigerator. But we'll do something tomorrow. We may just start all over and cook a whole new meal. You never know about us. No, we won't. We've got too much here. Meatloaf and chicken and chili. You're the one that cooked the whole new meal tonight. I know it. We got hot dog chili. We got hot dog chili. We've got meatloaf. We've got peas in there. Mm -hmm. We've got chicken now. Leftover, leftover potato salad and that coleslaw. <laughs> we'll find something to eat. We'll eat Alabama. We'll invite you along with us. So y'all come back tomorrow with us. We thank you all for being here. We thank you for all the new folks. We thank you for all the people that's been with us for two years. We've just turn the calendar on two years headed into three and we thank you because you all uh, have made it possible and I just think y'all are godsend if you yeah. happen to come along. Mama loves coffee time. She loves she's shy a little. Camera shy. She don't like to talk. It makes her awful nervous if I leave her with the camera. Yeah. I don't like how to talk. And she'll say don't do that again. I said Mama you did good. No. I don't like that. So, uh, anyhow, that's just the way we roll. But uh, we don't plan a thing. People ask us, how do you plan? Well, we don't plan. We just get on here and cook. It's time to cook. Turn the camera on and cook. They see how we mess up sometimes. If we planned, we'd have that chicken cut up. Do you know what I'm saying? I'd have laid it out yesterday and let it fold and cut it up before I put it in the marinade. That's right. But I couldn't cut it or I wasn't going to try to. And stuff. So, really and truly. Y'all are just family it. to us, and you just come along for the ride, and we thank you for it. And uh, so saying goes, it's just us, and this it's is just it. us. Ain't nobody, it ain't company. It's just us, so we're good. Y'all have a wonderful night. Sleep well. Get up in the morning, look at that beautiful sunset, sunrise, and say, "I'm gonna make something special out of today." And uh, you all enjoy, and we'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing. 
So, so good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you and so. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.